boys. What up, guys? This is Chivo, guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Don't Touch This Button. This game is published by Rattalaka Games, and it's developed by Nine Eyes Game Studio. This game is an easy 25 to 35 minute completion or platinum trophy, and on top of that, it's only $4.99. The game is basically 60 levels, and the achievements or trophies do require us to complete the full game. Now, when you start the game, the camera is inverted by default, so if you want it to be regular, I recommend going to the settings and pressing invert camera. Aside from that, I want to give credit to the written guide that I used to make this video guide. I found it in the Steam forums for the game. Somebody by the name of Maxon went ahead and wrote up this written achievement guide in the Steam forums. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below if you're interested in checking it out, but that is the written guide that I used to make this video guide. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. Our first achievement is actually for just standing still for two minutes. So in the first level, right when you spawn, just go ahead and stand there for two minutes and eventually you're gonna get your first achievement or trophy. Other than that, let's go ahead and make our way through this tutorial level. You can press LB to sprint, you can press RB to jump, and A to interact. Now the goal is to press the right button to open up the door. You simply press that green button and it's going to open up the first door, unlocking our achievement called First Step, worth 80 gamer score for completing our first level. Our next button is going to be located right there. So just go in the corner and press that. That's going to uh, let us into level three. Walk forward, press the button. It's going to activate the spikes. It's going to kill you, and we're going to unlock an achievement for dying by spikes. Walk on the other side, activate it safely, and we're going to be able to make our way into the fourth level or room. Next, it says press the button on the left. You want to press the button on the right. The common theme here is doing basically opposite of what the level instructs you to do. All right, so the next button's gonna be located all the way over here. Press that button. And next we're going to go into level six. Now in this level, it says not this. And so we actually wanna press that switch. You can see it up there on the board on the right. There we go, and on to the next level. Okay, in this one, we're actually going to press the opposite which is this corner right here. On to the next level. All right, in this next room, there's only one switch that doesn't activate spikes, and it's that one right there. On to the eighth level. And in this one, we wanna just go ahead and press this switch right here. On to the next one. In this next level, we wanna run in the opposite direction of the arrows. And once you get to the end, make sure you press the switch in the opposite direction of the last arrow. We're gonna run all the way back. As you probably can start to tell, this game is pretty much doing the opposite of what it instructs you to do. Now, we're going to be introduced to these blocks. We can pick up the block by interacting with it. You can drop the block by pressing A, or you can throw the block by pressing X. Now, we want to destroy all of the bosses in this room. There's four of them in total. Now, we have an achievement related to destroying 25 bosses, so we want to go ahead and destroy all four bosses. After that, you want to grab the box and throw it at the ceiling. There's going to be a switch located up there. Just look out for it and activate it and we're going to be able to move on to the next room. Also keep in mind the game will not allow you to take the boxes into the next puzzle or the next room. Alright so for this next one first thing we want to do is we want to grab the box and we want to start breaking all of the bosses once again. Pretty much going to rinse and repeat this process for the next levels until we unlock our achievement for breaking 25 bosses. At that point we can totally stop focusing on breaking the bosses and just try to focus on completing the levels. But in the meantime uh, we're going to break all the bosses moving forward. Now, to complete this level, all we need to do is drop boxes over the platforms that say no. So just destroy the four bosses, drop two boxes over the two platforms that say no, press the switch, and we can go ahead and move on to the next level. Now, first thing we want to do in this level is destroy the bosses, but aside from that, to solve this level, what we need to do is place the boxes over each of the platforms. There's four platforms, and we need to place one box above each platform. Once you have a box above each platform, We'll go ahead and unlock the gate and we can press the switch to go on to the next level or puzzle. All right, so I destroyed the two vases. Gonna place that second block. We have a third block, place it right there. And then we have the fourth block. Let's go place that on the fourth platform and then that should unlock the gate and we can press the switch or button. The button that we're not allowed to press. All right, so next, for this one, we're going to do the same thing. However, you're going to notice we only have three boxes rather than four. And so we're going to place the three boxes above three of the four platforms. And for the fourth one where we don't have a box, we're actually just going to stand in the platform and that will unlock the gate. So one by one, grab the box, 
place it over the platform. We have the third box right here. And then for the fourth platform, we're just going to stand over it. There we go, it unlocks the gate and we can press the button. All right, on to the next level. So for this one, we're gonna do the exact opposite, but first we're going to go ahead and destroy these vases. All right, so for this one, we have to take the blocks and put them in the slots. Similar to the last puzzle, but the opposite. You know, before we had to take the boxes out of the slots and put them on the platforms. This time we're taking them off the platform and putting them into the slots. So just make sure that you place one box in each of the slots and that will solve this puzzle. There we go. Go ahead and press the button and on to the next level. All right, so for this level, first and foremost, there's a lot of vases in this level. So we're gonna go ahead and start destroying all of these vases. You should also be unlocking our next achievement, that being for completing the 15th level. We have a lot of level progression related achievements here. Anyhow, go ahead and grab that block and just continue to throw the box at the vases and try to destroy as many vases as you can. We basically wanna clear out all the vases in this room. This is gonna rack up a big chunk of the 25 that we need for an achievement or trophy. Not only that, but that's actually how you solve this puzzle. The green board says to be careful, and so the opposite would be to destroy all of the vases. After you destroy all of the vases, it's going to open up the gate and you can press the next green button. All right, so on to level 16. So in level 16, we're going to start off with, as you can imagine, destroying all the vases. So go ahead and grab a box and start destroying them. We're gonna have six vases in this level in total. There's the fourth one, and there we go. So you should finally unlock the achievement for destroying 25 vases. That is the Vandal achievement or trophy and it's worth 80 gamer score. Now in this level, all you have to do is grab a box and throw it at the gate. It's going to push the gate back and we can go ahead and press the button. After that, on to level 17. In this level, you're going to head over here and you're going to press this switch. It's going to unlock the gate, press the button and that one was super easy. On to the next one. In this one, as you can see, it shows a pattern on the green board and we need to do the opposite. So just press these switches on the very end, on the left and the right, and then press that switch and we can go ahead and press the button. On to the next one. Okay, so it's showing us a few different patterns here. And what you wanna do is just look through the windows for this pattern. That's the secret pattern. And it's basically all of the switches except for the second one. And then you can press this switch and that'll open the gate and you can press the button. On to level 20. All right, so for this one, what we have to do is look up here. As you can see, the first and the third are uh, highlighted, so we wanna do that and then press this switch. Again, that's the first and the third switch and then that switch over there on the wall. After, press the button and we can go ahead and move to level 21. Now in this next level, we want to activate the switches that are opposite of the vases. So that's going to be the first switch, the second switch. We're going to skip the third and then just do the fourth switch and then the switch on the wall. That's going to open up the gate and go ahead and press the next green button. On to level 22. Now in this level, if you read the green board, it says hurry up. And what you actually have to do is just completely stand still. After you stand still for about 20 or 30 seconds, it's going to end up opening. I did edit through that time so we didn't have to wait as long. But yeah, so just wait until the gate opens and press the button. And this next one says there is no hidden switch. So the opposite would be that there is a hidden switch. So just go around, you're gonna find a hidden switch right here. Go ahead and activate that. It's gonna open up the gate and press the next green button. On to the next level. In this level, what we need to do is place this uh, box under that skylight right there. It has a switch up there. And we can actually just jump on that podium to jump on top of the box or crate. And then we can go ahead and activate the button using the A or X if you're playing on PlayStation, basically your interact button. In level 25, it says there is no secret button or there is no button here. You just wanna move that crate and the button is hidden behind that crate. Aside from that, we can go ahead and move on to level 26. In level 26, what we need to do is move the boxes or crates over the windows. So just find each of the windows and make sure that you cover them up with crates. I believe there are four windows in total. We'll cover up the second one right here. And then we have two on the other side. Basically we have one crate for each of the windows. So just make sure that you move each of the crates over each of the windows and it's going to open up the gate and we can press the next green button. And then on to level 27. 
Now, in level 27, we're gonna start off by moving over here. It says bosses are just decoration. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to match the bosses on the other side. So just move the crates like that, and then that's going to open up the gate. Again, you have to match up the crates with the bosses on the other side. For this one, we're going to move this crate under uh, that skylight right there, and we're going to move this one under that skylight, and then the third one under this skylight. So just move each of the crates under the skylights, and that's going to open up the next gate, and we can press the next green button. On to level 29. All right, so in level 29, this one's a little more complicated. As you can see right there, you're able to jump a little bit higher than anywhere else in the level. So what we need to do is move a box right here and we'll be able to jump a little bit higher to be able to get on top of it. But we need to move the other crates so that we can get all the way to the switch. So just move the crates like this. You'll be able to jump up and then activate this switch onto level 30. All right, so once we get to level 30, we should be unlocking our next achievement or trophy related to level progression for getting to level 30. All right, so our next one says all walls are real. However, they're not. So just walk into that wall right there and you're gonna find a secret switch, activate it, and we can move on to the next level. Now we're gonna find some more hidden walls here, but I want you guys to just walk into the wall right here. You wanna fall out and you're gonna end up unlocking an achievement called fall worth 70 gamer score for falling off of the map. All right, aside from that, we need to find the actual uh, correct secret room and it's behind a secret wall. So just follow exactly where I go and I'll show you where it's at. It's located right here. Go ahead and press it and we can go ahead and move on to the next level. All right, so for this level, it says don't look at the walls. But first, let's go ahead and activate this. We're going to accidentally kill ourselves with the lasers and we should unlock our achievement for dying by laser worth another 70 gamer score. All right, so to actually solve this, you just need to activate it from the right position. So just stand right here and press the button. No lasers will hit you, and we can go ahead and move on to level 33. All right, so we're going to start off by moving this crate over here. Basically, what we need to do is cover all of the lasers so that when we press the switch, we don't get hurt by the lasers, and we can go ahead and walk across without getting hurt. So go ahead and just cover up both of the lasers on the wall activate the switch and go ahead and proceed to the next level all right so for this level you want to run over here and this one actually took a little bit of time to figure out even looking at the guide on steam uh, just trying to match up exactly where to push these crates because basically once we press the switch it's going to activate the lasers and we need to be able to make our way out of the room without you know dying by laser so just move the crates in the same position that i'm moving them in and you should be good to go there we go, and as you can see, all the crates are stopping the lasers, and we can go ahead and move on to the next level. Okay, so for this level, we just need to make sure that we do not step on any of the green buttons. So sprint or jump if you need to, or just go really slow, whatever your method is. Just make sure that you don't step on any of the buttons. And this level is really as simple as that. After that, you gotta grab the crate, and then throw it on the buttons to activate it. And we should be able to leave the level now. There we go. All right, in this next one, it's similar to one of the uh, previous puzzles. We need to block the lasers. However, this last laser is a fake laser and we can walk through it. So just cover the first two and the third one, don't worry about it. And for this puzzle, what we need to do is walk all the way over here, stand right here and press the button. After that, we need to stand still and it's going to end up turning off pretty much the opposite of what the sign said. The sign said don't stand still and we stood still. This one's fairly simple, just jump through the bosses right there, jump back through and leave the level. Now for this one, we're going to walk over here. There's a password right here, 3012. So type in 3012, 3012. There we go, level solved. Well, first we gotta press the button. There we go, now level solved. All right, on to level 40. So with this one, we have a bunch of numbers and it tells us the code is not the sum of all of the numbers. So we're gonna do the completely opposite and the sum of all of the numbers is basically going to be 312. So put 0, 3, 1, 2, and that will solve the level. The next level is pretty much the exact same. It's the sum of all numbers. Don't forget to press the button, otherwise you won't be able to escape that room. There we go, same thing. So 
The code is not the sum of all of the numbers. So we're gonna do the exact same thing, add them all up, and the answer is going to be 303. So do 0303. All right, and don't forget to press the button. Otherwise, you won't be able to escape. I don't know why I keep trying to leave without pressing the button. All right, so for this next one, we're gonna walk into this room, and what we need to do is switch it to how many bosses are located in the room. So that room had three bosses. This room only has one boss. This room right here has two, so we'll switch it to two. And then this final room right here has two as well, so switch it to two. That's going to lift the gates, and we can press the switch, and on to level 43. In 43, we're gonna go to each of the rooms and do the same thing. This one has three, switch it to three. We're gonna go into this one diagonally across. This one has two. We're gonna grab this box, and basically um, the dials in the other two rooms are going to be broken, so we're not gonna be able to change them from zero. So what do we need to do? We need to destroy the bosses so that it matches the dial. So now that one matches at zero. This dial is broken as well. Break the two bosses and it will match at zero. And then we'll be able to press the button and leave the level. All right. So for this one, we're going to walk into this room right here and switch the dial to two. We're going to walk in here and jump over here, switch the dial to one. Then we're going to walk over here into this room and we're going to actually leave that one and then switch this one to three. That should open the gate. Go ahead and press the button and we can go ahead and move on to level 45. All right, so we're gonna have uh, some formulas right here and we can use those formulas to solve this level. Long story short, the answer is three, zero, two, one. Again, that's three, zero, two, one. That's going to open up the gate and we can press the next green button onto level 46. All right, so for this level, we're going to head over here. You're going to see a green crack. What you want to do is just jump up and down using RB and go ahead and press the button, jump out of the little hole, and we can go ahead and leave the level. All right, so for this one, there's a bunch of green cracks. We actually need to step over this one specifically, jump up and down, press the button, and onto level 48. In this level, what we need to do is simply throw all the boxes down into the holes. However, you wanna keep an eye out for this right here. These are called minions. They're basically like uh, green screens with sad faces on them. We actually need to destroy five of these to get an achievement. They're basically like collectibles or hidden enemies. So just follow along and I'll help you guys get all five of them. Uh, but after you get your first minion, you'll unlock an achievement or trophy. And then after that, just make sure that you throw the rest of the boxes down. The gate will open and you can press the next green button. All right, so for the next one, what we need to do is find the window that you can actually see through. It's this one right here. And we're going to start throwing all the boxes out of the window. And that's how we're gonna solve this level. So simply grab all the boxes, keep chucking them out that window. I believe we have four boxes in total. That's the third one. Oh, missed it. There we go. All right. Maybe five. Okay, you don't need to actually throw the last one. You just need to pick it up. That's gonna open the gate and we can press the next green button. On to the next level. In this level, we're gonna start off by jumping over here and pressing the green button. It's kind of hidden. And that one's nice and simple. Now for this one, we're going to sprint and jump across. We're gonna grab this box right here. We're gonna take it back because we do have a minion located in this level. He's going to be hiding behind this wall. Let's throw it at that. Get that minion, that's two out of five. Switch that dial to one. Switch this dial to three. Then we're gonna jump back. We have a few more dials. Let's see, we need to get to that corner, so just jump over here, over here. Switch that dial to two. And then we can actually leave the fourth dial alone. So just head towards the exit, turn to the right, the gate will be open, and press the next green button onto the next level. So for this one, we have these white platforms that basically collapse after we walk over them. So make sure to walk in a straight line. That way we don't destroy too many paths. Walk down the middle or run down the middle, press the button. And we have this path right here that we can take back over. 
onto the next level. Same thing here. Now, in effort to basically save some tiles for us to be able to run back, we kind of want to jump up and down. That way we're not destroying two tiles and we're only destroying one and we can kind of backtrack. Press all those switches and then we can backtrack because again, we left one tile in each of those gaps. Now we can go ahead and press this button and we can make our way back through the middle. All the way down and onto the next level. In this level, we're going to head over here. Switch that dial to three, switch that dial to three, switch that one to two, and that one to three. And if you're wondering where we got the code from, it's down there. Aside from that, make sure that you get this minion right here. To do that, we're going to need to get a box and throw the box at him. And I believe that is our third minion. So just head over here, grab the box, jump back. And you want to kind of go back so that way you don't miss him. I actually missed him like two times. It's like my third try at this level. And after you kill the minion, we can go ahead and proceed to the next level. So in this level, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here, press that switch, and we can go ahead and end the level nice and easy. For this one, we're going to press the switch and we're going to walk straight in the middle. There's a secret path. There we go. That one was nice and easy as well. We have a minion located right here. Just kill that minion and that is going to be our fourth one. We have some secret pathways. Just follow where I'm going and you won't die. Press the button. Grab the box. Walk back. And there we go. And you can actually just drop the box. We don't need that. On to the next level. Alright, so for this one what we're going to do is... We're going to start off by heading over here to the right. Again, we're going to have to deal with some secret paths, so just pay attention to where you go because once you press the button, all those paths are going to disappear. And basically just retrace your steps. Run through here. And the level is as simple as that. On to the next level, jump over here. Jump on the TVs um, all the way on the left hand side. Again, jump on the ones on the left hand side because the other ones will collapse. Press the button, grab the box, jump back on the TVs, head over here, and we're going to have our fifth and final minion right there. Go ahead and kill him. You're going to unlock the achievement for killing five minions. And aside from that, all we need to do is complete the game, guys. So just continue to follow along and I'll get you guys through the final levels all the way through level 65. A matter of fact, we just unlocked the achievement for completing the first 60 levels. On to level 61. All you have to do is interact with this boss right here. And then once you get into this room, interact with the TV. And then once you get into this room, just press the Y button. And once you get into this one, you're just going to walk straight through the door. And we're going to be in the final level, which is the boss battle. This one's fairly simple. All we need to do is interact with all of the buttons in the level to destroy the boss. The thing is, is that he's going to activate this fan, which basically pushes you off of the edge. So I try to stay um, on this side of the podiums. That way, you know, the podium will kind of protect you from falling off. So just try to stay in front of the podium because the fan won't be able to push you off if you do. And once the fan stops, again, just get in front of the podium so the wind can't push you off. Activate the button. I'm going to wait until the fan stops just one more time and we'll jump over this gap and try to head over here. There we go. Head in front of the podium so again, you don't get blown off the edge. Make sure that you activate the button and on to the next podium. This one's going to be over here. But before I make a break for it, I'm just going to wait. I'm just holding up right now, basically pushing back against the wind. Activate that. Stay right here. There we go. So we activated all the switches and then all we have to do is just walk up to this final switch right here. Press the final green button and we're going to unlock our final achievement or trophy called Last Step for completing the game. At this point, you guys should have the full 1000G out of the full 1000G. Let's go ahead and check it out. Pull up the guide menu. There we go, 1,000 out of 1,000. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, 
Michael Banksa and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.